Daily SDRT. Subscribe now. Oh, subscribe now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we'll be talking about my boy little TJ. So um, a quick little backstory, but him and Chinese Kitty got into it. She's like an Instagram model. I don't know what else she does other than that, but that's what I know. That's what she's known for. But um, so yesterday, little TJ had posted Ruby Rose. If you guys don't know Ruby Rose, she's like she's also she's a rapper, but she's been passed around through like the industry she was like most known for being with playboy cardi and she did interviews about how cardi shot a gun at her and all that during an argument so that's ruby rose but he, so yeah yesterday little tj posted how ruby rose called the cops on him because tj had just turned 18 19 and then he flew her out and then he like smashed and then when it was time for her to go home she had he she asked if she Ruby Rose asked if TJ was going to get her a plane ticket. He said no. And then she it was all over, like, the shade room and all that. And then at the end of the day, TJ did end up booking her flight back home. So it wasn't really that big of a deal. And then Ruby Rose went to Twitter and posted how she has all this money, but she just doesn't like spending it. But, yeah, so this led to Chinese Kitty. I guess she, seen what, she saw what happened to Ruby Rose. And then she posted the DMs between her and Lil TJ. And she posted this on her Instagram story and said, Glad I dodged that. And you could see, like, TJ texting her and said, See me for my birthday. So I guess he was trying to see Ruby Rose and Chinese Kitty. Or maybe Chinese Kitty was the first option. And then Ruby Rose was the second. But yeah, so that's what Chinese Kitty posted. And then TJ had to say this on his Instagram story. So take a listen. Chinese kitty, why do you want clout? Why are you clout chasing? Why don't you tell the world how I fucked you on, on the bed with your son in the room? Fuck you talking about? Why don't you tell the world that? Fuck you talking about? Stop, stop playing with me. Smelly grave, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Bitches be fucking thoughts. Hey, word of my mother, I try to tell shorty chill. I'm like, yo, you wildin'. Like, your son right there. She like, no, come in the closet. Word of my mother. Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> She's a whole die, bro. I don't know what's wrong with y'all girls. Like, y'all really love me or something. So as you just heard, that was TJ, and he said how he smashed with her son in the room. And then he's talking about how she said, oh, let's go to the closet, and then he called her a thigh and all that. And then he continued on his Instagram story. He posted this. I guess Ch Chinese Kitty texted him, DM'd him, and said, you just gave me clout, thanks. And he responds, it's crazy because she thinks she won. LMAO. Stuff sad. And then she he put this. Every N-word, no, it's nothing wrong with this. Basically saying how uh, what he did, there was nothing wrong with what he did. He he was just trying to smash, so he was text texting her and talking to her a certain way, like that, basically. And then this is what Chinese Kitty had to say. She responds, uh, N-word, wish you could get a chance to be next to me. In your dreams, bozo, you a whole stalker who really looking for clout. You wake up wishing you could be with a girl like me. Then Chinese Kitty posts these DMs. It's from TJ. And then she says, LMFAO, you look dumb thirsty. LOL, you weird. I've been been a thirsty N-word. So she posted more DMs. And you can see TJ was replied to her story. And he says, I love you more. So. And then there is, she continues, N-word, wish she had the chance to even be in my bed. Or even next to my kid, are you dumb? So TJ said he smashed with her kid in the room. Now she's saying he wishes he could do something like that and even meet her kid. So TJ saying he smashed, she's basically saying he didn't. So now it's like two sides of the story, who's telling the truth, who's lying. So just comment down below who you guys think is telling the truth, who you guys think is telling the truth and who's lying. And then she continues with more, with more DMs. Bro, you been on my... For a whole year, like for real, you know you call me at least 10 times a day, stop with all that capping. Then it shows TJ again replying to one of her stories, and he says, calls her beautiful. And then TJ says, I turned 19 two days ago. Oh, and then this is another one from Chinese Kitty. She says, F I need clout for, 
Actually, I posted how dumb you look trying to see two girls at the same day. Don't even want to buy girls flight back when you're steady stalking girls to come see you. Post them after you stay on day. Trying to make us look crazy like N-word. You do it for the clout. I don't know no rapper N-words that run their mouth about puss so much. Only a effing B-word little effing kid. And that's why TJ put I turned 19 two days ago. So, yeah. And then she continues, Chinese kitty. And as you guys can see, it's right here on the screen. I don't really feel like reading all of that. But there it is for y'all. And, yeah, that's it. Those are all the DMs and messages of them going back and forth. So comment down below what you guys think about this situation. Comment down below who you guys think is telling the truth. TJ said he smashed with her son in the room. She said he wishes that could happen, how it never happened. But yeah, one's lying, one's telling the truth. Who knows? But yeah, everyone, please leave a like. And also, can you please give me a follow on Instagram? At 1K followers, I'll be doing a $100 giveaway and also a face reveal. So yeah, make sure you turn post notifications on. And thanks for watching. So while I was just finishing the other part y'all was just listening to, little TJ just posted this on his Instagram story, so take a listen. He's talking about the Ruby Rose situation and what happened with Chinese Kitty. Bro, I ain't really into explaining. I don't really even care what y'all think, but this is just one time for y'all. Just, just to sum it up real quick. Just real quick, one time. Ruby came to my house, seen another girl texting my phone, got mad, emotional, and called the police on me. Can't call the police to my crib, girl. You know, like, like, hello, like, what? What, what are you doing for me? So I embarrassed her. That's one. Two, Chinese Kitty has nothing to do with my business or the situation. She posted on messages for clout. So I embarrassed her. You feel me? That's it. It's, I'm not playing. I don't care about none of this industry shit. None of that. I chill. I'm on my business. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. <laughs> like, good eyes. Like, yeah, like, for me, these females, too. Like, I don't like arguing, but you're not about to try to, oh, Talking my name, talking my name, I'm not gonna say nothing. Why? So that's what he had to say. Said how Ruby got emotional because some other girl was texting him. So she called the police. So then he went to the internet and embarrassed her. And then he embarrassed Chinese Kitty for looking for clout and it, posting their DMs. So I'm pretty much, it seems like this might be the end of the situation. But if it's not, I'll make an updated video for y'all to keep you guys updated. So make sure you guys have post notifications on and make sure you subscribe. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Daily SDRT. Daily SDRT. Daily SDRT. Daily SDRT. Daily SDRT. Daily. Subscribe now. Subscribe now. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tune into our next video to stay updated with all the latest, latest tea going around. Please don't forget to co like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell so you receive notifications. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day. Videos will be coming your way daily. Also, my email is in the about section of my channel and you can email me some tea that I missed or you can email me some tea that you want me to post.